MGM Northfield Park presents The Rizzo Show. And now, your host, Tony Rizzo. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of The Rizzo Show. We are here in Berea, Ohio, Browns training camp. My radio partner, Aaron Goldhammer, is with me. We're not in Grandma's house anymore. (laughs) The makeshift studios, although you're going to love our new studios. And Aaron, um, what have you thought the first couple of days at camp here it's been an absolute zoo the people are so excited the chanting and everything I mean really Cleveland hasn't experienced this for about 30 plus years you know it's a level of excitement for a football event that I've never sensed before okay and everyone came out they popped out of bed this you know these mornings this first couple of mornings of practice L- no, like, explain people like, are like, here like there's a game and they're chanting for and, they, and then you realize guys are just you're watching guys stretch um so I don't know if I've ever seen Riz and I've been in Cleveland 15 years I don't know if I've ever seen palpable excitement for a team on the level of the 2019 Browns and we were laughing because every morning we've been here the people are here at 8 a.m. practice starts at 10 yeah uh, it's Browns people, people, people are off work, and I think they're drinking before well, practice. Well, I mean, of course I think, they are. They're tailgating. <laughs> I think especially Saturday and, and today, I think people were, they had some cocktails and Bloody Marys before yeah. practice. Aaron, the Browns have embraced the hype, but it is the story of this training camp. They're yeah. the most hyped team. Day one, NFL Network and ESPN were here doing live shots yeah. at 10 o'clock in the morning. Are you worried that maybe there's too much hype? Well, I, I think that hype is fine, and I think talk is fine um i think the super bowl talk is probably a little a little much riz i mean come on man let me dream i i don't i don't it does i, I think does fox have the super bowl this year do we have the super bowl? i i think we do yeah, i don't know so when, whenever the browns win the super bowl it should be on fox 8 but i i just think that you have to take steps in order to get there and usually you don't now it's happened and i'm not totally taking the dream eagles two dream. years ago yeah but usually you don't go from seven eight and one and one and 31 before that to the super Bowl. I am judging this season based on the playoffs. If the Browns play in a playoff game, I'm considering the season a success. And I think the Browns have the right structure and dynamic in place to make this hype and talk healthy and not destructive. Aaron, one of the biggest stars in the game is now playing for the Cleveland Browns. He's on the cover of GQ magazine. What did you make of of the whole Odell thing? Do you feel like he's finally over New York? And how hard will it be for him to fit in here? Yeah, so I I think he is over the New York thing. He keeps talking about it because he's asked about it. And I actually think if he's not over it, that's okay. Because I think it'll be a motivating factor for him. Look, we've talked about everything with Odell. Uh, Whether he was in Milan or Monaco or at the Met Gala. We've talked about all the -the off-the-field stuff. We saw him on the cover of GQ magazine. This weekend, we finally saw Odell Beckham Jr., the football player. And Aaron, what do we say on ESPN Cleveland? Aaron and I do a radio show together. You know what, folks? Odell Beckham's good. You know why? He gets open, and he catches the football, and he runs great routes. People forgot about all that because of all the hype. I think Odell is the best straight-up playmaker, okay? Guy that could take the ball to the end zone on any play that the Browns have had on their team since Jim Brown in 1965. That's incredible. Aaron, don't forget, too, his shoes make news. What shoes he wears make news. He he is one of Nike's premier spokes. Look, I, I, LeBron always backs up the hype, right? I mean, that's what makes him such an identifiable and iconic athlete. I think Odell does the same. And I notice with kids, like, Odell's even more popular than LeBron was. He's not more famous than LeBron, but he certainly runs in that that circle and he's one of the most famous athletes to ever play right. any sport kids in Cleveland you're right kids love him. love him Beckham addressed the media earlier this week in Berea I'm just excited to be to be here in an opportunity where I can just give love back you know like I said this this is sad but this world is so full of hate and we, and we love to look at the negatives and and that's the only you know the only thing that can get talked about because which I feel and understand because I feel like all the positive stuff's supposed to happen. All the catches that I make, you're, you're supposed to make them. So the only thing you really can focus on naturally is what's not supposed to happen or, or what is negative. So um, I, I do love the love, and I, and I just want to be able to spread that through this community, through this team, um, and build something special. Boy, he seems more comfortable now, uh, Aaron, that he has pads on and a helmet on. Um, in addition to OBJ, Baker Mayfield's under the map. You always ask me who's a bigger star, OBJ or Baker. I say 
Nationally, it's OBJ. But here in Cleveland, Aaron, okay. it's Baker Mayfield. Are you confident Baker is ready to take the next step in year number two? You know, I, I am. Um, I don't know if he's one of the five best quarterbacks in the NFL, Riz. I think that he he has to prove. I think he has more to prove to me than Odell does. I want to see how Baker responds to playing a big road game in Pittsburgh. You know, a lot of the wins at the end of the year last year, they were great, but they were against Jeff Driscoll and the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> and when he went on the road to Houston, we saw what happened. He, they had, he had the nightmare second. Pick three times. Yeah, he, he played better in, in Baltimore. More. He threw too many interceptions last year, threw a lot of touchdown passes. There was a lot of good to speak of with Baker. But he has to take the jump. And there are a lot of quarterbacks, from Darnold to Josh Allen, mm. who are trying to make that leap from year one to year two. And the great quarterbacks, Riz, the ones that really become Hall of Famers, this is the time in their career when they get a lot better. And I think, you know, Baker has the potential to be the best player on the Browns. And if he is, that's more important than anything that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to do. Finally, a quarterback. By the way, he ruffled some feathers with Duke Johnson in some comments. He addressed that earlier this week, and he said they're – they're fine. We addressed it. You know, Freddie talked about it yesterday. We're good. I mean, if we're out there smiling, we're here to do our job. Uh, he's here. And, and like I said, when, when it all came out, we want people that want to be here. And he's here right now. So um, that's important. And, and I think that shows that, you know, we're here to win. Aaron, in addition to Baker, another guy on the hot seat here in Cleveland is Freddie Kitchens. He was a running backs coach, bro, a year ago. Now he's in charge of one of the most potent lineups in the NFL. How much confidence do you have in Freddie Kitchens? I do have confidence in, in part because of his relationship with Baker, who I think had a big say in getting him this job. Not that he was in the interviews, and but the relationship between the oh, two Oh, he might have been. The, okay, maybe he was. The, the relationship between the two guys, Riz, I think mattered a lot. And he was a great offensive coordinator in eight games. But he never had been interviewed to be a coordinator before. And now all of a sudden he's a head coach and there are just a lot of unknowns. Like, I, I don't mean this to come across like I'm questioning whether Freddie is capable of being a head coach. Well, guess what? I am. There is, there, no, no, Aaron, I am. There's, I'm, there's a lot to like. Yeah. There's a lot to like. But, but we he's don't know. The press conference is great, but... What is a press conference? That's right. We, we've learned. That's right. We don't know. Aaron, what's he going to do when you got to make a split-second decision on whether or not to replay, to, to throw out the challenge flag? We don't know. Right, right. And how is he going to get his team, team prepared? And how is he going to manage all of the egos that are now part of this team? Um, it is the biggest question mark, without a doubt, and fairly so when it comes to this team. Well, there are a lot of question marks, but I want to tell you something. We have enjoyed the heck out of this. Folks, I think we're going to be good – in football again in Cleveland, Ohio, and I haven't been able to say that for a long time. Aaron, thanks so much for being with us. Remember, Aaron and I, every weekday from 9 to 1 on 850 ESPN Cleveland. Coming up, we sat down with Demarius Randall, Brown safety and veteran player. Don't go anywhere. More of the Rizzo Show from training camp after this. <laughs> The more you know, the more you can grow. And it's just, you know, it's been a learning experience this whole time in the league. And so, you know, just picking up tips from guys, picking up that experience from, you know, those those, those games against the Steelers, the, the game in Tampa Bay. You know, there's things where you can you can learn from. You know, there's little bumps along the road, and everybody has those. Nobody comes into the league perfect. perfect. And uh, I think uh, I think it's about time for, for all of us to, to make a, a run for it. Welcome back to the Rizzo Show, everybody. We are with Demarius Randall, safety from the Browns. Dude, your hair is getting a lot of run on Twitter right now. What's up with it? Uh, it's green. I mean, uh, it's great. I mean, nice little green hair in the chat, and I mean, um, just kind of looking forward to it. I'm just jealous you got here. I don't. Listen, what, what <laughs> made you go green? Well, it's really supposed to be in blue because um, I actually lost a bet, but I mean. Um, oh, come on. What was the bet? The Warriors and the Raptors finals, um, you know, the Warriors lost. I know, you're huge Warriors. Yeah, um, so yeah, so it was supposed to be in royal blue, but it ended up being teal blue. And then after I watched it like five, six, seven times, now it's sure. like green. And uh, now, I mean, uh, obviously a lot of people are curious about it, but I mean, um, it was a bit, but I mean, sure. uh, I had to own up to it. And I mean, uh, now I'm here. There you go. Um, Demarius, how different is it this year from last year? Um, I mean, it's just the expectations, but I mean, uh, for us personally, I mean, there is no difference. I mean, uh, we know we got to come in and work. Uh, we know we got to come in and put in the work uh, so we can look good every uh, each and every Sunday. How about you guys? Nobody's talking about the defense. I mean, even Coach said earlier in the week, you know, they were asking about offense, offense. You guys are flying under the radar. How do you like this defense so far? 
Uh, I mean, I actually like flying under the radar, man. I mean, because uh, uh, people are so focused on our offense, Baker, Jarvis, OBJ. But, I mean, um, Gaines is going to come down to defense getting stops. And, I mean, um, and that's where we're going to come in big and uh, we're going to make a lot of game-changing plays. Camaris, big change. Coordinators, Coach Wilkes, what's the biggest change in your defense this year from last year? Uh, more attacking style, um, more kind of in-your-face, aggressive blitzing type defense. Uh, not going to sit back in uh, a lot of offense to dictate the pace. Uh, we is going to dictate the pace. I thought in the offseason you guys had a lot of pieces, parts on D. How much better is it, you think? How much better can it be? I mean, uh, we can be a top defense up in this league. And, I mean, um, I know a lot of people ain't talking, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, uh, we're going to go out there and prove them wrong. Do you feel like um, at this point the expectations are getting out of hand with this team? No, I mean, uh, even before people start talking, um, I mean, uh, we got one goal, and uh, that's to win a Super Bowl, and uh, that's going to always be our goal. And uh, But we know the work that we got to put in, and uh, we have the players to do it, and uh, and we just got to stay healthy and do it. You're a veteran guy. There's so many young players on this team. What's your advice for them? What do you talk to them about? Uh, just talk to them about just finding a rhythm and being consistent each and every day And um, because there's going to be ups and downs up in this league. I mean, uh, there's going to be games to where our offense is going to have to score 40 points for us to win, and there's going to be games to where we got to hold a team to under seven points to win a game. And, I mean, uh, that's just the nature of football. And, um, and that's why we out here each and every day to build this jail and uh, to just get better each and every day together. How good are the wide receivers you're facing here in practice? Uh, I mean, I feel like we got some of the best receivers up in the league. I mean, um, and I mean, obviously, I mean, the names speak for themselves, but I mean, uh, even other guys like uh, Hollywood, Callaway, Willie, Strong. I mean, um, I, I mean, even our six, seven, eight guys are pretty good. So, I mean, um, uh, that's going to be a good challenge for our cornerbacks and uh, for the defensive back room to get, to get ready to play each and every Sunday. I feel like that's the big matchup in training camp, isn't it, man? You guys, you got a great secondary and you got great wide receivers. Tell everybody, that makes you guys better, both sides, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, because we're going to compete and uh, we're going to try to stay healthy as possible and um, just try to make each and uh, make each one of our each other better. And, um, and the iron just going to keep sharpening the iron. And, I mean, uh, come Sunday, um, Whenever we play the Titans, uh, the world is going to see. Um, you guys chomping at the bit, or are you okay with where you're at in practice right now? Because you got to be waiting for the 8th, September 8th. Oh, I mean, September 8th is preseason, man. I mean, um, I mean, uh, we is not in it to win to win preseason games. I mean, uh, we is in it to win regular season games, and uh, we is in it to ultimately make it to the playoff and uh, bring home the Lombardi Trophy. And I mean, um, and that's going to always be our goal. Um, Say it again. Bring home what? The Lombardi Trophy. <laughs> Yeah, the Lombardi Trophy. <laughs> um, last thing, is the dynasty over for your Warriors? Dynasty over? No. The dynasty just getting started, man. <laughs> oh, come on, the you guys love KD. Getting started. The, we was, what, did we went 73-9 and nine without KD? Come on, yo. Like, don't tell me you, don't tell me you done fell in a media trap with the, oh, they need KD, this and that. I mean. I'm a Cavs fan, man. You know me. You guys whooped us three out of four. Thompson don't get hurt game six, they would have won another championship. There we go. So, um, there you go. Talk it. Talk but, um, it. What, Clay's coming back, though. You think Clay. you'll still be a fact? I mean, you guys got Steph and Clay. Come on. Don't forget about D'Angelo Russell is a is a proven vet up in this league, and I mean, um, and their bench is gonna be a little more stronger now because they got a little more cap room. But I mean, um, I I mean, I'm sure Steve Kerr got some up his sleeve, and I mean, uh, looking forward to watching basketball this year. Mary, thanks, man. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being on the Rizzo Show. We appreciate it. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Rizzo Show. We are in Berea for Brown's training camp. But even though we're here, you know we've got to eat. I went and searched for the best gyro in the city. And guess where I found it? Let's head to Lakewood. I thought gyro was always lamb meat. But you yeah. have a bunch of different... Uh, uh, varieties of the year. Yeah, we have three different kinds. The traditional one here in the U.S. has always been lamb beef. Pretty much started up in the 50s, believe it or not. But the and that's what it, uh, originally was in Greece too. It was always a, a lamb beef mixture. We're only a handful of uh, places in the whole U.S. that actually build a pork daily. I've heard that you have a challenge out there. Just a little bit, yeah. What, what, is, what is the Greek Village challenge? The Greek Village challenge is the Mount Olympus gyro, 
and the Mount, Mount Olympus, Olympus Theater. And of course, you know Mount Olympus in terms of going back to mythology, the home of the, uh, the 12 the, gods, the gods, three right. gods, so that's what we named it after. And it's basically our seven pound gyro sandwich. Wait a minute. You have a seven pound gyro sandwich? A seven pound gyro sandwich. Free if I can eat it all? If you can eat it all, it's free. We've had 105 people try and nobody's been successful in three and a half years. Seven pound gyro. And then you just go right across the street to Lakewood Hospital when you're yeah, done. Yeah, that's, that's it. Great. Right. You know, so definitely come on down. I'm not going to try it. Believe it or not, folks, I know you all want me to try it. I'm not. I'm going to try it. But I am going to take a straight up gyro. I didn't eat all day. I'm starving. Tom, I cannot wait. Perfect. Finally, we get to eat. Folks, I've been dying doing this piece right now because they made me wait like an hour to eat all this stuff. I've had to look at it. Let's start with the hummus. First, what is hummus? Tell hummus me. is basically just chickpeas, tahinis, a little olive oil, garlic. Chickpeas, ground but up. Chickpeas, that's all it is. And it's flavored. And you make, this is just straight favorite. hummus I'm eating right here, Yeah. which is phenomenal. These are souvlaki, which is basically just uh, pork skewers, and we have chicken skewers as well, very traditional in Greece. Greek salad. Greek salad. Just a little, some, fat of little some fat of olives. cheese, some olives, some red onion, tomatoes. Now I'm afraid to ask. Yeah, you, you don't want to know that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Tom. You make your own cheesecakes? We make all our own cheesecakes. I have a girl here that I, uh, took my, over my recipes and she makes them now. And this is, I think it's got to be exclusive. I don't think anybody else makes this. This what is our baklava it? cheesecake. I don't know if you know this or not, that's locale baklava. Yeah. <laughs> all fat free. But yeah. You've <laughs> never heard those words together in the same sentence. Locale and baklava. <laughs> Exactly. Oh. Oh. Spiritual. Folks, there That's is our nothing part. like a good yodel. Look at how beautiful that is. You make your own cucumber sauce, right? Absolutely. All right, there we go. Oh. Good stuff. Oh, that is tender, warm, delicious. What a great combo with the tomato and the onion there. Oh, your sauce is phenomenal. <laughs> And you know what's good when you got some on the lip. Hmm? Oh, we're That's not good. we're not bashful. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Get here, Lakewood. Yeah. I'm on Madison, right across from Lakewood Stadium. It's called the Greek Village. It's absolutely spectacular. T. Thanks, so. thanks, baby. Thanks Appreciate for everything. It. I'm gonna finish this off right now. Wow, that meat was phenomenal. I wonder if they would deliver out here in Berea. You know where else I like to go? Oh yeah. Let's check out what's happening at the MGM Northfield Park. There's a new show in town, Northeast Ohio, and we brought the spirit of Las Vegas with us. Win big in August during our ultimate summer gift giveaway. Visit us on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays beginning August 1st from 11 to 7. Collect each gift set to be eligible for bonus drawings, including Cleveland football jerseys, Kate Spade bags, and KitchenAid artisan mixers. Visit TAP at MGM Northfield Park to experience our new weekend brunch every Saturday and Sunday from 10 until 2. Enjoy brunch favorites like chicken and waffles, orange French toast, and the muddy skillet. Don't miss your favorite entertainers performing live at MGM Northfield Park. The hilarious Wayne Brady brings his special improv comedy to town on Saturday, August 17th. Be amazed by Rich Guzzi's comedy hypnosis experience August 2nd and 3rd, plus an intimate night with Soul Asylum up close and acoustic on Saturday, August 17th. Tickets available at the box office or Ticketmaster.com. Take a Vegas vacation without leaving the state. MGM Northfield Park. Las Vegas is here. The thing that separates Cleveland from a lot of places is the passion that they bring to it, uh, to the game, to the practice, um, uh, on social media and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the passion in the Cleveland area for the Browns or in all Browns fans is very unique. And um, I think that was demonstrated today and it'll probably be demonstrated the rest of the training camp. And uh, hopefully we carry that momentum over into the real season. All right, don't go anywhere. Up next, our good friends, Big Chuck and Lil John, who I have watched since I was little, way back in the 40s. Okay, I'm kidding. I was born in the 60s, child of the 70s. Um, folks, look, I know this is going to be an unbelievable year for the Browns. W win or lose, you know drama's coming. It always does with the Browns. But I just, I had this message before, and I can't say it enough. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the hype. Look, it beats being the also-rans. 
coming off a stretch where we won one game in two years. You have some of the biggest stars in all the NFL. Enjoy it. Enjoy the preseason. Enjoy the training camp. And enjoy September 8th when we kick things off against the Titans. We're going to have some Browns games on Fox 8 this year. Ooh. Thanks for joining me. Our special edition here live from Berea. As always, good to be alive. Good night, everybody, and go Browns!